Good morning guys. Um, I have been waiting for this package to be delivered. Um, it did come sometime this morning. Uh, we'll open it up. A little bit of an unboxing or unbagging as they say. Rightio, let's put all this to a side. So what have we gone for? We've gone for some sea foam. Um, I'm hoping this is going to help Corgi situation um, at the moment. The car is having a uh, not a major, but a, definitely a misfire. I've noticed so ever since we did the coils and suspension on Corgi, um, Phil the mechanic as well, he did um, notice that that had a little bit of a miss. So instead of doing the walnut procedure where you got to take all the throttle body off, I thought for thirty odd dollars. Um, we'll give this sea foam uh, a go. I have watched a few other videos out there as well, and apparently it does apparently get rid of the carbon on the throttle body. So um, we'll go out. We'll read all the instructions. Um, we'll obviously get the car nice and warm, ready, and we'll hit the sea foam. All right, let's do it. say good afternoon good afternoon everyone welcome to another video welcome to MGA drive right here guys so we just got in Corgi now um, I don't know if that just came up on the GoPro we just had started the car um, it is quite a warm day it's not so cold um, and I don't know if it did come up on the GoPro where you could hear that misfire actually quite strange so a few weeks ago when I was heading to raise uh, like I said in the earlier bit of the video um, when I was heading out that early morning uh, I obviously start up the car and was about to leave home and I noticed the car had a little bit of a miss and I thought oh you know it, it was the car was quite cold and it was a cold morning I thought oh it's just you know it is cold it needs to be warmed up um, so I basically pulled over and waited a few minutes and then um, started to drive and it did it once again um, and then obviously started driving to Ray's uh, which is roughly about a 40 minute drive and it never came back again it was all pretty much fine and spent the whole day there and then when it was time for Phil to take the car for a bit of a test drive after completing the work that he had done on it he noticed that it had a a misfire he picked up on it as well uh, we, went, we both went for a drive and just to sort of see if it'd do it again and I explained to him I had the same problem didn't know it was a misfire um, so they did some diagnostics on it they did put it on the computer um, it did come up with a few misfire codes as well too um, so I guess there we have it it does have a, a bit of a problem uh, a carbon buildup and I did a bit of research I did a bit of research and apparently the minis have a bit of a problem when it comes to carbon buildup. Um, so it's a bit of an unfortunate, I did remember in I think it was the first video when I said my one's fine and I said fingers crossed, well there was no timber around guys, I should have uh, reached out for some timber so a bit of bad luck there. So guys I did end up going for the sea foam, it is a cheaper option, I think it roughly cost me $30 delivered. Uh, to my door, so it was from Australia. I will put the link in the description um, where I did pick it up from. That was the only place I could find to buy it from Sydney or Australia. Uh, I'm pretty sure that overseas, you know, it's pretty easy to get. So we're going to give that a go. Um, like I said, it is a cheaper option for now. Um, there are other methods to clean out the throttle body, and that is the the granules, the walnut procedure, where they've got to take the throttle body off and put the walnut in there and basically blast it out. Like I said, I know the N14 and most minis and some BMWs as well, that walnut procedure is a pretty common thing. Um, some people are saying when these things roughly hit 40, 50,000 Ks, it should be done. I couldn't see anywhere on the paperwork from the previous owner if this has been done. Um, from 
from what I can gather, it hasn't been done. So we'll, we'll, um, we'll take the car for a bit of a drive. Apparently the car's got to be warm, hot before you do put this product in. Um, so we'll take it for a bit of a drive, we'll get the temps up on it, see how it goes, get it back home and then um, we'll start putting the sea foam in it. Um, so the only time I really find it is misfiring, it's quite weird, it's either like just what happened now, we just started it um, and then it did do it. Um, sometimes if I'm going up a hill, the car's warm, the temps are alright, um, the car's in fourth gear and you're sort of just cruising up the hill, nothing too drastic, just sort of cruising along and then you sort of put your foot down and it's like it's starving for fuel again and you'll sort of get that, that, um, that misfire, um, it sort of sounds like it's pinning a little bit. So it's struggling for fuel from what I can gather. Um, so let us know guys, comment down below, let us know. Um, is this a common thing? Have you had the same drama? Did you have to do the sea foam or the walnut procedure? Um, I, at the start, thought it was the coils. Um, I know they do have a little bit of rust on them, um, but I'm pretty sure if it was the coils, it'd be constantly doing it. It does have four brand new NGK spark plugs in the last service. Um, and then I thought maybe fuel pressure regulator, the, um, the fuel uh, pressure regulator, yeah, if that's blocked, does that need changing? Uh, but everything that sort of seems to come back and from what I can gather and what everyone's saying, um, that it could be your too much carbon buildup on the throttle body. Try the sea foam and see how it goes, hopefully it fixes it. Like I said, let us know if anyone has had this issue, much appreciated. Guys, we just got back from taking it for a drive. I've just switched that off now, um, just so we can go over this sea foam. But um, roughly guys, they do say to use five ounces of the sea foam, whether it's in a cup or a, uh, I've used a, a glass jar. Um, I have put a little mark as a little indicator on how much to um, fill your cup up with the sea foam. So roughly, what do they say, five ounces is roughly around 150 mils. Um, so we're going to go ahead now, we're going to put that in. Um, probably best thing to do is make sure when you do use the sea foam, um, when you are going to put it in a cup, make sure you do it outside. Don't do it indoors. Um, this stuff is quite strong, quite potent, so do it outside, guys. Do yourself a favour. Um, I'm going to be using some gloves, and I do have my glasses on as well. Um, I will use the glass, see how that goes on the hose, on the vacuum hose, if I can do it or not. I do have a funnel as well. Um, if not, I'm going to have to look for a plastic cup. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch the engine on on Corgi. It is quite strong, guys. Like I said, that is... Ooh, five ounces 150 mils it is definitely strong potent so hopefully the sea foam is going to work fingers crossed anyway so just keep in mind when you do take this vacuum hose off the car is going to want to stall it's obviously getting air in there so um let's do it Probably would have been easier with a paper cup. It's all good. We still got a little bit left. Let's see if we can get it in there without making too much of a um, too much of a mess. Okay, so we've just put it in. We're gonna let it rest now for a roughly around 15, 20 odd minutes. We'll put the timer on the phone, see how it goes. That warning is just fuel. I do need fuel. Right, yeah, we'll give it a few revs. Probably roughly keep it around one, one or two grand and uh, see if all this carbon does blow out.
Rightio, yeah, so it's still running. Um, I thought a lot more would have came out of the um, out of the exhaust, but uh, I'm pretty sure it did come up for you. You can definitely smell it. It does sting quite bad. So what we might do now is we might jump in Corgi, take it for a bit of a run. Um, well, it does stink. We'll take it for a bit of a wrap, see what it goes like. Uh, maybe push it a little bit, see if we can get more of the uh, the carbon and all the shit out of the uh, out of the throttle body. So let's jump in it and see what it goes like. it out a little bit more. Like I said, I was expecting a bit more um, carbon to come out, but we'll see if we can take it for a drive and what happens. Maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought. Some are different, everything else is different from, um, everything else is a little bit different. a bit more responsive but it's probably a little bit hard to say and the fuel consumption they reckon is supposed to help as well it has been a little bit poor lately on the fuel whether the carbon um, has got anything to do with it as well I'm pretty sure it does but uh, like I said I hope it's worked I hope I've you know let it sit long enough 20 odd minutes um, like I said maybe mine wasn't as bad as all the rest but we'll soon find out Right guys, we just got back home. Um, I'm just gonna let the engine run a little bit, so I'm sure these guys can hear me. Um, I did give the car a little bit of a boot fall, so we'll just let the turbo settle down. Um, as in any more smoke that did come out, or carbon while I was driving, I couldn't see anything um, that was coming out the back. Um, let us know, comment down below, has the Seafoam rectified your Mini um, with the carbon build up, or am I gonna have to go for the worn up procedure on the throttle body? Um, so we'll see how it goes in the next few days. I will let you guys know. Hopefully it has worked. I hope it has, fingers crossed. Um, but like I said, at this stage, it's a little bit early to sort of say it has fixed it. But um, guys, we're gonna wrap it up. Um, thanks for watching as usual. Stay posted. There is definitely more videos to come on Corgi, on the JCW. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching and catch us on the next one. See you. Bye-bye.